Hi, I'm Aaron Young. I'm the director of the Exoskeleton and Prosthetic Intelligence Control Lab. And we specialize in, on robotic wearable technology for enhancing human performance and ability, especially when we look at using this technology in the lower limb to enhance community emulation in both patient populations as well as humans in industrial or workplace or military type applications where wearable robotics can make a substantial difference on the safety and efficacy of our workforce. One of our main key scientific contributions is in intent recognition. You know, this video is a good example with the prosthetic knee ankle system where a machine learning system has been trained to recognize the amputee's intent to go upstairs or go downstairs or take a level walking step. Another key technology that we really spend a lot of time looking at is in control technologies for the wearable robotics. You can see this with our hip exoskeleton device where we're using the user's myelectric or EMG information to help control the device. And so the EMG can be measured through epidermal electronics and can relate basically the, the forward human user intent to the device for control to allow for a natural syncing between the underlying human's musculoskeletal system with the actual robotic assistance provided by the device. And finally, another key technology that we look a lot at is, is human biomechanics, where we have an advanced motion analysis lab with force plates where we can reconstruct the human kinematics and kinetics, including the internal joint torques and powers, using 3D musculoskeletal models. And this allows us to really understand how these devices affect human movement so that we can engineer more effective devices and control systems for enabling human augmentation with these devices. We utilize different robotic technologies to improve human locomotion. And some of these technologies are implemented to this wearable robotics platform, one of which is a power hip exoskeleton system. We provide a system that is natural with the human movement to improve mobility for both able body and clinical populations such as elders and stroke patients. Similar technology can be implemented to a knee exoskeleton. A good clinical population that it can benefit from is children with cerebral palsy, who tends to have limitation in coordinating the knee joint. Lastly, we can implement these technologies to an able body situation, such as helping an industry worker lifting heavy objects using Beck exoskeleton system. How are we going to determine the magnitude and the timing of the assistance in real time? We can use a variety of sensors to recognize the user's biological state to provide assistance that is more synchronized to the user's intention. For example, we can use sensors to detect the activation of muscles and provide assistance when the muscles become active and scale the assistance magnitude based on their activation levels. We can also utilize mechanical sensors to recognize the user's joint kinematics and modulate the assistance based on the angular deviation from the desired joint angle. By doing this, we hope to maximize the effectiveness of the assistance to the user's movement. We study the human locomotion in relation to the different signals that are recorded using wearable sensors. For example, the inertial measurement units register the acceleration of the limbs and electromyography electrodes monitor the activation of the muscles. By combining different sources of information, we can develop machine learning models that thoroughly describe the motion. Our models can determine if the state of the user changes and discern the type of terrain between a stairs, ramp, or level ground. These results inform the exoskeletons to provide an effective assistance.